Hi everyone and welcome to your dragon energy reading for this month. We are going to be asking the question, um, which we did with the fairies as well, do you believe in dragon magic? And what magic are they going to bring to you this month? So we have three piles. You can choose by pile number, by the card, or by the heart crystal. So pile one here with the purple fluorite heart. Pile two here with the blue adventuring heart. And pile three here with the ocean jasper heart. Okay, so whatever crystal whatever card or whatever pile number calls to you is the one you're meant to see and I will see you in your pile. Hi to those of you who chose pile one, this card, or this very pretty uh, purple fluorite crystal heart. This is going to be your dragon energy reading. We're gonna be talking about, do you believe in dragon energy magic? And uh, if so, what magic are they going to be bringing to you or giving to you this month? So let's get started right off with uh, overall energy. So the overall energy that we have is the Fire Fairy. And this is from my um, Wisdom of Avalon deck, I believe it's called. Yeah, I love this deck. And it's about creative action, optimism. So the Fire Fairy, creative action, optimism. Let's just talk about fire energy for a minute because I think it kind of uh, stands out here. So when we say creative action, what does that mean? Well, it, it can be creative action in anything, right? Um, it could be regarding your life purpose. It could re be regarding new ideas that you have for whatever it is that you do, okay, uh, for work or literally hobby. Um, it could be new inspiration that you'll take action on. It could be your goals, your dreams, your ambition, right? Launching a new product or product, <laughs> a new project or business, um, creative action required, thinking outside the box. Okay, so that's kind of the fiery energy behind that. So however it resonates for you, let's look at the rest. Um, sorry, I'm tripping over my words here a bit. Let's hope I uh, get it together before the end of pile one. Um, do not look for validation in others. Be unique uniquely you and follow your own path. Mm, I like how that's tying in here. So we have creative action optimism. I talked to you about fire energy a bit here when we're thinking about, and I was really kind of thinking about wands, energy and tarot, right? And do not look for validation in others. Be uniquely you and follow your own path. So that could be specific message for some of you. What energy are they bringing to you? They're bringing to you some fiery, creative, passionate, action-taking energy, I'm going to say to start. But let's look at the rest of the cards and tarot. We have serene. Well, that kind of seems the opposite of fiery. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you dim your flame, right? But let's just see here with the Knight of Cups. I'm gonna put everything else out first. Then we have the self gathering your power, definitely fiery with the two of coins. Sunshine Yellow Dragon helps you to help animals, serve animals, heal respect and understand them. Very interesting for some of you. That may be one of your goals. Maybe your life's mission, your life's purpose is to help animals. Like I said, it will resonate different for everyone with the King of Coins. Oh, I like how those two go together. And Initiation. Okay, Ten of Cups. I always read the dragon from this book because this dragon is serene. And there's always a wonderful message in there. So I always like to do that. But just looking here, when we're talking about what magic, what are they bringing to you, right? 
what magical energy are those dragons springing in? Well, one, I think it's the courage to be uniquely you and to follow your own path. It's right here in the card. The other is that creative action and being positive about it. Maybe in the past you have depended too much on others and maybe then your own unique creative inspiring ideas were not being used even though they were wonderful someone else was always overruling them and what they're saying this or you used yours but didn't trust in them you it's almost like you didn't back up your own idea this will be for some people not for all so what i want to say is they're bringing that lovely magic and energy to you where you are going to feel confident enough to go after your own dreams um, believe in your own in creativity and inspiration and not worried about what others think not needing their oh that's beautiful their validation right so and here the self gathering your power well i mean that's pure fire that is right and what I see here with the two of coins going with it, it's gathering your power. It's finding the balance in there because this is, I want to read this because this is my um, Game of Thrones tarot deck. A Lannister always pays his debts. Two of coins, it's finding balance between the light and the dark or um, between choices, right? That you have to make for yourself. You want to make balanced choices where it's going to serve you. I want to say always, and I will always say, um, it, it's going to balance your inspiration, your longing, your intuitiveness, your gut feelings along with your mind, okay? So that's important. But I also feel too, because it is a two of coins, that maybe somehow this decision by by believing in yourself here and gathering and taking back your power, it's going to be financially good for you. And look at this, I, I love it because we also have coins here, okay, together, kitty, okay? And here we have cups. Well, the thing we know, I talked about this the other day in a video, earth and water are harmonious elements, okay? They love to be together. They love to work together. They're comfortable together. They're comfortable elements, but it's harmonious. Okay. So that they're like a sextile in astrology. Okay. So that's a great thing. Look, we have water and earth basically here working together. Love that. And that is your inspiration, your feelings, your emotions working together with, um, I'm going to say your mind in this case, balancing everything out. Now, we have initiation dragon here who's beautiful. I love that you have two white dragons. I can't wait to read about Serene, but this dragon is an initiation, and this is you taking the initiative, you taking charge, you taking the lead, which is talking to all of this fire energy. And if you do that, you will come out on top with everything it is that you want it. You will have built the life for yourself that you dreamed about, okay, with this Ten of Cups. So it's really important that... I'm going to say that you take this energy from them about not needing others' validations to believe in yourself. And I want to say your fiery self, even if you're sitting there thinking, but I'm not fiery. Yes, you are. We all have each element in us. It's whether or not we choose to activate it is what I want to say about that. Now, I want to go to Serene because I said these messages, oh, and I opened right to her, that was quite lovely, are always wonderful. So let me just get some good light here. Serene connects to the calm and resilient energy of Mother Mary. So you can rest assured that life is going to settle down, especially if it has been rather turbulent of late. And I'm just going to talk as I read through this. Maybe for some of you that turbulence was not taking that leadership role with your own creative inspired ideas that we were talking about earlier. She says, um, I'm just going to go through this very quickly because I like for things to just pop out because it is quite a bit. 
Mm. She encourages us to go gently with ourselves. We are quick to nurture others, but often neglect our own needs. And this would be a need for you. You came to this reading. These cards have come out to give you this message because this is something you need to thrive, to move forward in life, to ascend, right? You need to be your own creative entity, your own self. You, I believe, I, I just, what's coming is you desperately need that. And for some of you, you may not even realize it until it starts to happen, until you start gathering that power up. We, oh, right here it is. We must feed ourselves with that which brings us joy and makes us feel alive. As we accept that we are important, our worldly experiences will reshape and shift in a positive way. The key line there is we must feed ourselves with that which brings us joy and makes us feel alive. That is why this card came out. Okay, when you start using your own creative ideas, and that, like I said, it could literally be in art, it could be in music, it could be in theater, but it can also be in the work that you do. You may work in an office and maybe you work in marketing and that would be very creative. Or you know what? It can just be coming up with creative ideas, even if you were a customer service representative, on how best to serve the customer and handle those phone calls. It's going to be different for each one of you but the important thing here is to understand that you need to give more credit to yourself and how much happier your life will be when you follow what makes you happy. And here it is with the Knight of Cups. I mean, that is looking for the beauty. That is imagination. The Knight of Cups can be, right? It can also be creativity. It can be humanitarianism, and maybe that's where it comes in here with the animals. Maybe you're meant to work in a shelter for animals. Maybe you're meant to uh, work at a veterinarian clinic. Maybe you're meant to um, volunteer, uh, I don't know, at a farm or at a horse stable. It Really, again, however that resonates for you. You may just go and work at PetSmart, right? Like... <laughs> It could be that. I, it's it's going to be what brings you joy. And maybe this is a very specific message for some people that it's going to be dealing with animals here, okay? But again, if you do that, the king of coins is balanced. He's responsible. He's hardworking. And because of all that, he is abundant and prosperous. And that doesn't just mean a money. That means in and with himself, right? When you're abundant, you could be abundant in joy because that's gonna bring you joy. When you're working on your own projects, that will, again, abundant in joy, happiness, right? The feeling of accomplishment you could think of as being abundant. So that is the main message. Let's get some tarot here. I don't wanna... Um, leave it too long. I like for these to be, I know we all have time constraints, so short and sweet. Let's get three cards to clarify, confirm, or add to the message, the Hierophant. Okay, I love that. Oh, and that just something else popped in. Okay, this is good. I love the message that they're giving here for these. All right. The two and the three of wands coming out. Okay, perfect. But the Hierophant, maybe you're going to teach. Maybe you're someone who's going to teach um, other people. And that's your creativity. That's your inspiration. You're going to be inspiring others. And maybe that's the road that you want to take in your career or even in your volunteer time whatever it is right or in your spare time as a hobby you might want to teach others because i think of the hierophant as teaching being the teacher and the student mm -hmm. and with the two of wands this is this is you're looking out 
okay? You see that's a river, but I'm gonna call it the path. And you know this is, okay, so you've decided this is what I need to do. I need to not look to others for validation. I need to take this on myself. This is you planning it, and this is you going after it, okay? So that's the message they're bringing forward there. I love it. Let's get another tarot. And then I do one last uh, tarot at the end, which always has a wonderful saying. If you watch these videos for me, I always do it at the end and read from the book. Just um, that the, usually it's a sentence or two, which is uh, like a mantra or something that you may want to post on your mirror to help you as you're working through this pile one. So let's get one last oracle here, and then we'll move on to that. Oh, reawaken your intuition. Allow your emotions to ebb and flow like the cycle of nature's seasons. I talked about this, the water, right? Working with the earth. So, and it is, your, the water is your emotions. So allow your emotions to ebb and flow like the cycle of nature's seasons. You know, and that's your creativity is coming from there too. So allow it to ebb and flow. You know, sometimes it's gonna, I just wanna say, be bang on and other times, you know what? You may have to work a little harder for it, but uh, either way, you just go with the flow. Sometimes people are really gonna grasp on and accept it and be really drawn to it, and other times they won't, and that's okay. You just go with the flow, all right? So let's get this one last card here. There's always, and there's also on this one, it's a butterfly and a flower, and then the saying. So this card is appreciation. Mm -hmm. I want to say appreciating yourself, appreciating your own ideas. Okay, and the flower is the sunflower, and the butterfly is the Diana Fritillary. Such pretty cards. Okay, let me just go in the book here and see what the, uh, it's almost like a little mantra maybe you could think of it as. Appreciation or a question to ask yourself. Who and what will I appreciate today? Who and what will I appreciate today? Oh, that is just so perfect. And also, it's just making me want to say, you know how maybe in the past you were looking for validation from others? This may be your opportunity to validate other people, but without the expectation of anything in return, and you're doing it to build them up and to, so that they have that courage in themselves to stand up and do what it is that, that is important to them. So that is the message pile one. I hope that it resonated with you in some way, whether it was an individual message or as a whole, but that is the energy. They are really boosting your confidence and, and sending you out with action and your creativity and imagination this month. So don't fight it, go for it. I will see you in the next reading. Thank you. Hi to those of you who chose Pile 2, this card, or this blue Aventuring Crystal. This is going to be your Dragon Energy reading for this month. And we're talking about, do you believe in Dragon Energy magic? And what magic are they going to bring to you this month? So this is going to be quite interesting. We have overall energy with Oracle and Tarot, and then we're going to do live Oracle and Tarot at the end. So overall energy, which is really what magic are they going to be bringing in for you? Let's just see. Oh, interesting. We have the horse. Accepting help from others, delegating authority. All right. Accepting help from others and delegating authority. As light follows darkness, so day follows night. Be patient and wait for the right opportunity to create a new chapter in your life. Well, isn't that kind of interesting how that's going with accepting help from others, right? That's the first thing, like be patient and wait for the right opportunity to create a new chapter in your life, accepting help from others. Do you know what I think they're bringing into you? I wanna wait and see what the rest of the cards are gonna come out like. But I find this quite interesting 
the first thing that's coming in is they are going to send. They are going to send that opportunity and I almost feel not as a horse, but maybe for someone if that resonates, but they're going to send a person or people to you when the time is right that are going to bring forth hand you, lead you to whatever it is, that opportunity to create the new chapter in your life. Let's look at the rest of the cards. I'm very excited about this. Balance with the Eight of Spears. Okay, we were talking about patience, right? Be patient. I love that. That's, you know, balance in your life always helps with patience. Um, wisdom. Oh my heavens, you guys. Wisdom, asking questions, right? patient and waiting for the right opportunity, having the wisdom. Six of spears. Okay, this is good. All right. We have white gold dragon from Lyra connects you to the highest Christ light. Develop your cow cell chakra, bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. Okay. I have, uh, I, Okay, I already know what's coming in there too. Ten of coins. And oh, love this. The rainbow dragon, I'm calling it, but destiny. So this dragon's name is destiny. But um, okay, so whatever this new chapter is, it's your destiny pile too. And the nine of cups. Look, just the tarot alone, eight of spears, six of spears, which are wands, ten of cups coins, yeah, pentacles, um, and nine of cups, like those have to be some of the most positive tarot cards that you could get, okay? And then just look at the oracles that are going along with them. All right, so let's get right into this. I, I definitely um, am hearing that you need to be patient, you need to keep the balance in your life, but I do read this balance from the book because it's dragon is balance. I love how the yin and yang are there, right? Um, but I always just like to read because you never know. It's a great message that's in there uh, for it, okay? But what I feel like is be patient and wait for the right opportunity. And when it happens here, we have the eight of wands. That is gonna, it's gonna move quickly at that time. Once that time, once that opportunity comes and you realize it, okay? You're using your wisdom, you're using your intuition, and you're like, okay, you're asking the right questions, whatever it may be, right? And that may be a hint. Oh, see, that may be a hint right there. You're going to meet someone and you're just going to feel like there's someone that you can go to for guidance or um, how do they want to say it? Yeah, like they're going to be, that might be a hint for you. They're going to send you other other signs as well, but that may be the big one. This is going to be a person that you're going to feel comfortable asking questions to for whatever it is that this is for you, okay? Whatever this new opportunity is. It literally could be anything from work, business. Maybe you're, you want to move. Um, that's the new chapter in your life. Maybe you're going to open your own business. Maybe you're going to get more into your spiritual or religious um, studies. Uh, I really don't know for sure, but it is destined for you. And they're saying, accept the help from that other person. And when you think of a horse, like even just think of a horse, like they help us to get around, right? So I think that's quite interesting. But you have to have patience with the horse and you have to be balanced because they can sense anything that's off. Okay, so there's something for someone to hear. But let's read balance here very quickly and just see what balance wants to say because, and balance is also a one, which is a new beginning. So it's that new chapter. The dragon balance depicts aspects of us as a whole, our light and shadow sides. As humans, we show the world our many different sides, for we are multifaceted and can change from situation to situation. Now, I also just want to go through and see what else it is. 
Okay, I found it here. There's usually, a, a I know it's a small book, but there could be a page or two. So I just like to go through and see what it is that's resonating because it's come out in this pile with the rest of these cards for a reason. And every time it, it never fails, here's the message. Remember that what you are experiencing in your life now is transitional. It won't last forever. This, like much of life, is a phase, a lesson, and two will soon pass. If you find yourself in a perplexing situation, ask for his wisdom, balance, okay, to be bestowed upon you. Balance will guide you to understanding, to know in your heart what you can do, or indeed if you need to do anything at all. Sometimes all that is required is patience. So interesting that it mentioned asking balance to help guide you through this, and maybe all that's needed is patience, okay? And that's so beautiful, I just, you know, I get I get so excited when those messages come out. So basically what I want to say here, Pile 2, is there's a new chapter that's starting for you. One, you need the balance. You need the patience. Once that opportunity comes, and I swear, it just the message that's coming in is the person is going to be very wise. Um, it's one of two things. And you're going to be asking them questions because you just you just feel that you can trust them, right? Or you are going to know with your own innate wisdom that, okay, this is the opportunity and I need to take it. And they're saying when you do that, there's success to be had here, okay, with the Six of Spears. And this is destined for you, this new chapter, whatever it is that you're starting. You will get everything that you've hoped and wished for. And, and remember, oh, I'm having a hard time remembering his name right now. Oh, he was Jon Snow's best friend. Remember, he he finally got to go to, was it like, the, it wasn't the Citadel, or maybe it was, but it was, he loved to read and learn, and he finally got to go there. I mean, he went there for a reason, right? But he it was his wish fulfillment to be in that big library, surrounded by all that knowledge and history. I just can't remember his name right now. It's leaving me. But that's what it will feel like, like, how did I ever get so lucky? Or everything in my life has led me to this and I'm ready is also a way to look at it. And here, this is taking on the Christ-like, which if we think of Jesus and we think of him as the ascendant master, like Buddha is an ascendant master. I always love to just say that to people to realize it is not a religious thing to be an ascendant master. He came here to earth and he... Uh, turned the other cheek. He showed people to be equal and that he didn't look down upon anyone. He treated everyone fairly and with balance, okay? So that's the energy that you need to be in and that's why this white gold dragon from Lyra came out is so that you can take on that ninth dimensional Christ light energy, okay? So let's get some tarot. That was beautiful message. I'm excited to know what this new beginning is for you really quite fortunate. So let's get three tarot. I don't know. I think like this is, if they're bringing someone into you that is going to help you start this new chapter, that's the gift. That's the magic. So we have seven of wands, king of swords, and the five of pentacles. Mm hmm. There was something also in there about balance too that was talking about the light and shadow side of yourself, which is the yin and yang. That's the feminine and masculine energy, but it's the light and the dark, right? And also as light follows darkness, so the day follows night. So there's always going to be, or for you, if you were feeling kind of left out in the cold or like, you know, you were just unsure and you've been wondering like, well, what does this all mean? I know that there's something bigger for me, but I'm not sure what it is. I'm not even sure how to get there or you know what it is. You're just not sure how to get there. However, it resonates for you, right? That's leaving you. Seven of Wands, maybe always having to defend yourself. 
to people because you've talked to them about whatever this dream is that you have for yourself for this new start, this new beginning, new business idea, whatever it is. And people have, it have been, um, they haven't really reacted well. They haven't, um, they haven't accepted it very well, okay? It feels like they're not on board and you're always having to defend it. No more of that. And I think that's why this person, you're going to feel drawn to them, right? You're going to feel, and that's why they're sending someone to you because it's going to be someone who understands what it is that you want to do and what you're talking about. And they're just, they're going to get you. I think that's really it. King of Swords. Again, it's just having that clarity, remember the wisdom, to know. You're just going to know. Your thinking's going to be clear. Um, I don't know, you're going to be on your game intellectually, right? Like you're just going to be a smarty pants, <laughs> but in a good way. You really, really are going to become, I want to say, the authority in your own life. Here, somehow, pile uh, two. I, I love this message for you. Let's get this oracle and then we'll do one last and move on. Okay, so. It is easy to love and accept the light side of yourself. It takes courage to acknowledge and love the darker side. See, this light and dark keeps coming up. So let me just listen here for a minute. I think what it's trying to say, or for some of you anyway, is just, it's, pardon me, it's, it's you. It's kind of being negative or even down on yourself, right? Because you were kind of feeling like, you know, where am I going from here? And you were always having to defend yourself to other people. And I think it just really literally cast a dark shadow on everything. And you lost your sense of hope. And then maybe became a bit negative about it. And they're saying it's okay. It's okay, even accept that part of yourself and just turn it to love, right? Turn it to positivity. Easier said than done, I know, always. Um, but that's their message there for you. Now, let's get this last one. This has, I love these cards because there's a dragon, there's a butterfly, and there's usually some sort of quote or question that you can ask yourself. It's just a sentence. And uh, a butterfly and a flower. So let's see here. Persistence, right? Told you these cards just come out. Okay, so persistence. Let me look at that in the book here very quickly. Persistence. And I'll tell you the other, uh, the other two things as well. They want you to be persistent, right? You need to be persistent. Do not give up. No matter what other people are saying, no matter how much doubt you may have in yourself, you're gonna, they're going to send you that person or people. Okay, persistence. The flower is euphorbia. Okay, I've never heard of that flower before. And the butterfly is the African swallowtail. So maybe you want to look up that animal or that animal, that butterfly or that flower because there may be something in it that is going to trigger something in you. Oh, they have a couple of questions here. What goals do I have that require persistence? And how have I shown persistence in the past? So those are the questions to ask yourself as you move forward with this pile too. I wish you all the best of luck and I'm quite excited for this new opportunity to happen for you, but be wise, be clear thinking. And I just feel that you're gonna feel some sort of kinship or closeness with this person or people when they come in and that's how you will recognize that they are the person sent to help you with this opportunity to help move you forward, okay? Thank you so much and I will We'll see you in the next reading. Hi to those of you who chose Pile 3, this card, or this Ocean Jasper Crystal Heart. This is going to be, for the month, your overall dragon energy reading. We're talking about do you believe in dragon magic and what magic are they going to be bringing to you? So we do have an overall energy. We have 
tarot and oracle in here as well as tarot and oracle at the end. So overall energy, the deer, gentleness, diplomacy. Okay. And have faith in yourself and in higher powers. They lead you in dark times, even when you feel you've lost guidance. Okay, interesting. Let's get the rest of the cards out. Hmm. Okay, sorry, I'm just thinking as I do this. Transformation, okay, along with King of Cups. I always get excited when the John Snow ones come out. Transcendence, achieving success with Nine of Swords. Oh, that's when they had the dire wolf held hostage. I did not like that. Okay. Blue Dragon from the Pleiades prepares you to accept source healing along with the emperor. Oh, more Jon Snow. Like, like, like. Scars the dragon along with, oh, Bran. Page of Cups. Okay. We have transformation, transcendence. We have healing. We have scars. We have gentleness even more over the diplomacy here, but the gentleness and have faith in yourself and the higher powers, God, source, universe, the dragons, your guardian angels, your angels, your um, spirit guides, your ancestors, whoever it is to help lead you through dark times. I feel pile three. The other two piles weren't necessarily so personal as in personal transformative change. I feel that this pile is... And the reason it is, is because there has not been <laughs> a lot of gentleness. I mean, think of a deer. I mean, they're just gentle, right? There hasn't been a lot of gentleness in your life. I feel like it's been quite combative. I feel like... And combative, I, I feel with words, right? I feel really with words that have made you feel less than or little or small or worthless, anything along that line, that's what I'm feeling. Someone has not been gentle with your feelings, with your emotion. And this says, what does that say? Accept a heart activation, give and receive heart healing, yeah. And I feel that that's what this is. It's being gentle with yourself. But I feel that because of all of this negative talk, we'll call, it could be what we could call mot emotional or mental abuse, has left you kind of lost and feeling like you couldn't achieve anything in your life because I just feel that you were put down and put down and put down. And I'm sorry if that, I don't mean to trigger anyone, but that's really the feeling that I have coming through. And I really feel that of all the cards in my, um, oh, I don't know. I just, I just feel heavy. Um, all the cards that have come out here in my Game of Thrones are powerful. Bran. I'm going to call the all-powerful, okay? But Jon Snow, you know, overcoming adversity and being put down his entire life. And then, you know, Ned Stark dies and he eventually becomes King of the North. And he is almost an unwilling leader, but is a leader nonetheless, right? He's the emperor. Although he doesn't ever feel like the emperor, but that's, but my point is he becomes a king. He then becomes the emperor, right? Um, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure the dog does escape here. At least I hope this is the one that does. I can't remember it. It's been so long since I watched, watched it. And Bran, I mean, just the path that he went on to help them all, right? So, They all overcame adversity, and I believe pile three, that's what this message is. I almost feel like the tarots here are more, are even more powerful than the, um, than the oracle cards. 
but each oracle card does speak to something and you do need to transform. You need to transform your life from the nine of swords, which is where you felt anxiety and less than and worthless and, you know, sleepless nights wondering if you were ever going to get out of this phase, it's not a phase, this time in your life and probably feeling like you weren't ever going to well if you're still in it right now this is your message that yes you are and you're gonna have to call on higher power to help you and that is whatever higher power you go to like I said God source universe or I just have them all in one team because I know that they're all there but like I said your angels your guides your spirit guides your ancestors your dragons your fairies whoever it is that you go to okay your gods your goddesses it doesn't matter but you need higher higher power help here and you need to ask for it and tell them exactly what it is that you want and they will be there to help you. You need to have faith. Mm -hmm. It's time for this to transform in your life and for you to transcend and to finally achieve what it is that you want to achieve in your life and knowing that you're worthy of achieving it. I feel like this is a very personal message. It just could be for a few people or it could, it could resonate with you in different ways, okay? I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily about your own personal self. I do feel that that is the main message, but you can take this and apply it to your life if you are in a situation where anybody has made you feel that way, um, in a work situation, on a team sport situation, a group of friends, right? It really can apply anywhere. It could be with a spouse, a spouse or a significant other or another family member. But that's what I feel the overall message is, is, oh, sorry, I love to read transformation. There's always a powerful message in there. And I feel like, um, yeah, now it's just now is your time. No, no ifs, ands, or buts. They're here to say you, you hear this message, you start out, you call out to us right now is almost how I feel about it, right? Like, don't hold back. Let it all go. Fear, pain, doubt, anger, sorrow, and guilt. Transformation, the dragon tells us, you no longer need these experiences. They are in the past. They have completed their task and have no place in your future. So by holding on to them, you only keep yourself trapped in old patterns that are no longer of use or necessary to you. A new you is emerging, maybe a quieter, quieter, more considered you, but certainly a more powerful you. Having lived through a great many things, now is the time for you to put that experience to good use. Follow your inner guidance which you are going to trust is coming in, right, from your higher powers, and let your old habits and worries slip away, right? The Nine of Swords, let them go. There will always be those who question what you do, but that is their journey. You are on yours. Follow the steps laid out before you, trusting your own inner light as you move toward a fresh way of being you. Oh, wow. That I, I didn't read that much for the other ones, and normally I don't. There's usually just a sentence or two. That completely talked about everything we were just talking about. Like, look at this fiery power right here. This is going to be you. I love this. Okay, let's get the tarot and see if, if it's confirmation, clarification, or additional guidance here. And call upon the blue dragon from the Pleiades as well for that heart healing activation to help heal those scars and that pain that you still might be feeling. And if you're a Game of Thrones fan, then I would suggest watching it. If you haven't, you, you be the Jon Snow, okay? Like... The Emperor coming out twice. Okay, look, you guys, they're serious about this. <laughs> it is time for you to rise up. The High Priestess. Oh, my good Lord. Okay. And the Nine of Cups. All right. 
this is them and you can probably tell by the tone of my voice pile three this is them coming through and saying yeah we're not joking about the emperor thing you are not going to just be the king of your life you're going to be the emperor the king of kings somewhere along the line i just feel that i have to say people are going to be looking up to you for guidance because you're the emperor so maybe this is something pile three Oh, here's a lovely positive to all of this. I mean, not that the transformation isn't. Whatever situation that you've been in, maybe somehow you are going to be able to help others deal and move through those exact types of situations to help them gain pack, back their power. The high priestess, well, she's all knowing. That's really tapping in and using your intuition. That's tapping into your higher self and a higher power for guidance. Uh, what else? I mean, she's a feminine powerhouse. So if you, and, and again, um, feminine power can be, it doesn't matter gender, okay? Because we all have masculine and feminine power within us. But this is really type tapping into that feminine power. Because I feel like you're really going to have to, you know, go through those emotions. This is not going to be an easy journey, okay? So don't, you know, be gentle with yourself. And I think that's where this gentleness and the deer comes from, right? Just be gentle with yourself as you move forward through this, just knowing that you're going to be the emperor. And the nine of cups is wish fulfillment, so when you put out there, when you manifest, when you start working with your higher powers to bring in the life that you want to let go of the life that you no longer need because that was not serving you so that you can transform and become the emperor of your own life. But you're going to be gentle. There's This is not a... This is... I do not feel any... It's probably because it's Jon Snow, which is why this is the perfect deck for this, for, you know, things always work out as they should. It's, it's a gentleness. You're not going to be a harsh leader or a harsh emperor. You've been through that treatment and you're not going to treat others like that. There's where the diplomacy might come in too, how you will be treating others. But also with gentleness. So I love this message. Let's get a couple of oracles and then we'll finish up here pile three. I just want to say I'm sorry that you had to go through this type of um, period in your life, but it's, it's going to pass. It is in the silent pause that we find the answers to our questions. It is in the breath that we anchor the soul. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get this last card. There are always like either a statement, a couple lines or questions that you can ask yourself. Oh, one come right out for you as you're moving through this. It also has a beautiful butterfly and a beautiful um, flower that you can look into as well. Look at this beginnings, this and that come out of the deck for you beginnings, new beginning. The flower is daffodil. Think of spring. Think of spring when you're planting seeds. So you're going to plant the seeds with your higher powers of what it is that you want your life as the emperor to be. And you would do that in the spring. And daffodil is the flower that blooms, okay? So it's new beginnings. And the violet copper is the uh, butterfly. So you can look that butterfly up because something may pop out. But let me just quickly look up uh, what the questions are. What new path or trait can I work on today? So it's a new path of transformation and it's a new trait of becoming the emperor of your own life. What is beginning for me and how can I help it grow? With gentleness being calm and loving and gentle with yourself as you move through this change in emotion. Pile three, this is a beautiful message. Again, like I said, this is going to be a lot of work for you. Scars are scars and they're called scars for a reason, but you can call on the blue dragon from the Pleiades to help you with that heart healing and they will. And uh, I just want to wish you all the best. Pile three and know that the magic that they're bringing to you is 
this healing, really, this transformation and this healing. And what it's going to come in like is a gentle energy that's going to come in and hold you while you're going through this. So again, I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next reading.